Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be covering the five AI SaaS ideas that you should steal for 2024. So if you're a developer looking for a new idea that you can start building to start making money this year, this is the video for you. So let's go ahead and dive into idea number one. So the first idea that you're going to want to steal is called Cyborg, and it's a screen and voice recorder that integrates your desktop with ChatGPT to help 10x your productivity. So let me show you how this desktop AI would work in real life. So let's imagine that we're beginner web developers and we want to learn how to inspect the hero element of the Apple website. Well, what we could do is go over to the top right of our toolbar and click on the cyborg icon, and this would start to record our screen and our voice to help guide us to a solution. So now we could say, hey cyborg, help me inspect the hero element of this Apple website. And what it's going to do is go off and load and process our request, and then from there it's going to give us a guided solution. So as you can see, it's telling me to come over here and click the develop icon in the our toolbar, and then from there it's telling us to click the show inspector. Now what this is going to do is actually open up our web inspector and then as you can see now cyborg is telling us to click the marker icon so that we could actually go off and click the specific element that we want to inspect on the website now what we can do is click the hero banner like it's telling us to do and as you can see now we've actually highlighted the specific element that we wanted to analyze from the get-go so as you can see this is actually going to be super helpful and this could actually apply to not just working with websites but working with any application anywhere when it comes to working with a desktop. And here's why I like this idea so much better than the current process. With how ChatGPT is set up today, what you would have to do to ask the same question is you would actually have to take a screenshot of your website that you have a question about. Then you would drag your screenshot over to ChatGPT. You know, this is just mainly a lot of friction. Then you finally type up your question. So this takes time once again, send it off. And then, you know, it's gonna take a few seconds to finally get back an answer. And then what it does is actually just list out some steps that you need to follow. And then it's up to you to actually go through each one of these, read it, figure out where to click, open it up and so forth and so forth. Whereas with our cyborg application, it literally just shows you exactly where to click on your website and you don't have to worry about typing. It just makes the entire process much more seamless and obviously 10 X is your productivity as a developer. So, all right, on to the next one. Oh, real quick. If you're enjoying this video so far, you'll definitely want to hit that like and subscribe button because I have a ton of other AI content on this channel where I teach you as a developer, how to build full stack AI applications that use AI. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. Now, the second idea that you're going to want to steal is going to be creating personalized children's games. Basically, for this idea, what you're going to do is recreate games that we used to play as kids, but use AI to make the games personalized to the individual child. For example, instead of making I Spy, you could create AI Spy, where you use AI to create toy puzzles, ocean puzzles, safari puzzles, or whatever else the kid's interested in. And what's really cool is that you can use AI to create these puzzles and then identify the locations where the items are in the puzzle. So that way, when the kid's playing the game and clicks on any of the items in the screen, we can check to see if they actually click the item. And if they get it right, we can use AI to generate some cool facts about the item that they just clicked. That way they're having fun while they're learning and they can stay engaged. And this doesn't just apply to iSpy. You could also use this to recreate games like Where's Waldo, Spot the Difference, or those memory puzzle games that we used to play as a kid. So that's it for the second one. And let's go ahead and move on to idea number three. The third app that you should steal is going to be a personalized AI event planner. The way this idea would work is it would help groups plan fun events like birthdays, bachelor and bachelorette trips. I actually created an MVP version of this to help me figure out what I should do for my last birthday. So let me show you what it looks like in action. So the first thing is you basically just tell the AI what you plan on doing. In my case, I want to go to Savannah, Georgia for my birthday with my wife. And I want to basically make sure we have a great Saturday. Then ChatGPT would go off and you know ask you some additional questions on what you want to do. And then you can say like, well, here's what I'm interested in doing. Here's my budget. I want to basically do a mix of indoor and outdoor activities. I want to do some new experiences. And my goal is to minimize driving. I want to walk everywhere. And then from there, ChatGPT could generate an entire itinerary for the entire day. And we absolutely love this. We actually followed the itinerary that you see right here. We had a great time, but there were a few problems with this MVP. The first one is you had to open up multiple apps to see where stuff is at. I had no idea if we were gonna have to drive 20 minutes to certain places, or if it was actually just a, um, you know, a five minute walk over to the next spot. The other part is that we didn't like is sometimes we actually wanted to look up alternatives for a specific spot. For example, we weren't sure where this triplet community park was, and we wanted to know if there was other disc golf spots for us to stop at so it would be awesome if there if this was some sort of app where you could actually look up for suggestions 
in that were alternatives to what the initial AI suggested. So those were the two main suggestions that we'd like to change about this, you know, MVP version. And what I'm imagining for the final version is actually something like the batch app that's already out right now. Basically the way that this app works is you invite your group and then from there you ask some questions about what the group wants to do and then it actually comes up with a shared itinerary. This is basically what was happening in the MVP that I created except I was just chatting with the AI. And the reason I love this idea so much is because we're not inventing something from the ground up. People have already made, I think, basically half a million plans through this app. So you already know there's a huge demand for this app and it's just up to you to basically help incorporate this idea with AI so you can go off and start making your own event planning application. So that's one of my favorite ideas and let's go ahead and move on to idea number four. And the fourth idea that you should steal is to create an AI server. The idea behind this is to create a pre-trained AI for restaurants that helps people order food while also upselling and cross-selling those customers at the same time. This idea would be great because it would help customers try new things that they might love and it would also help businesses make more money because customers are spending more. Let me give you an example of how this idea would work in real life. So the first thing we would do is put out QR codes across the restaurants. That way when customers come in they can just scan these QR codes and a digital copy of our menu. But more importantly, what we're going to do is also integrate an AI chat window that's pre-trained on our menu and that's hooked up to our point of sales. That way, when a customer comes in and wants to order food, it would look something like this. Our AI would say, hey, welcome to our restaurant. How could I help you today? And the customer would go, I would like to order a house cheeseburger after reviewing the menu. From there, our AI could cross sell and upsell our customer and say something like this. Sure thing, customers who order the house cheeseburger also really enjoy the chili fries. Would you like to try Try those as well. The customer could say yes. And as the customer is interacting with our AI chatbot, it's also populating our cart at the same time. And whenever the customer is done talking with their AI server, they can just click order and this will get sent off to the back of the house to where the food will get made. And eventually one of the food deliveries will just come out to the table and drop off their food. So I think this is an awesome idea because Obviously, you don't have to hire servers who call in sick, and obviously, you could make sure whenever a customer does have something, they could instantly just chat with our AI and instantly get a response. So there's obviously a lot of pros to this. Some people obviously aren't gonna like this because obviously it might take a few jobs, but this is obviously a very cool idea and could easily be implemented today because you could just hook up with point of sale systems like Toast and Square who allow for this uh, sort of API integration. So all around, I think I'm a huge fan of this idea. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, but let's go ahead and move on to idea number five. So the fifth and final idea that you should steal is going to be an AI accountability coach. The way this coach would work is it would help you define your goals and help you stick to them through daily conversations and text messages. And the best way to describe this idea is to actually talk about an existing accountability coaching business called My Body Tutor. And I found out about this business through the My First Million podcast where Sam Parr talks about how he pays them $600 a month for a daily call with a nutritionist who helps him reach his desired physique. And every day he'll talk to them about how he did the previous day, what went wrong, and what he needs to do today to make sure he hits his goal. But for our app, what we're going to do is train an open AI assistant to become a nutritionist, a fitness coach, or a therapist, or really whatever else we want them to be. And then this app will basically text our customers throughout the day to make sure that they're hitting their goals. Speaking of open AI assistants, I actually just released two videos where I teach you everything you need to know about working with assistants. So you'll definitely want to check out those videos after this one if you're interested in bringing this idea to life. But the key thing for this type of app is to basically help people define their goals and then text them daily to make sure that you hold them accountable. Then if you wanna get fancy with this one, you could also use the user's response to help generate weekly charts, to let them know how they did, or anything else that you would think would hold people accountable to making sure that they hit their goals. And this is my favorite idea by far because it already has a ton of people using these kinds of coaching businesses and these customers are paying hundreds if not thousands of dollars to help make sure that they hit their goals. So now it's just up to you to disrupt this market and make your millions. And that's a wrap for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed these five AI ideas and I hope you can steal one for your own. You'll have to drop a comment down below to let me know which one's your favorite. And if you are inspired and wanna get started making your own apps, you'll definitely wanna check out one of these videos that I have where I actually teach you how to create a full stack AI lead magnet tutorial. So it's a huge tutorial from teaches you from beginning to end how to build and launch your own AI SaaS business. So that's enough for this video, guys. Hope to see you on the next one. Have a great day. See y'all soon. Bye.